On this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice, we're talking Greenway Revenue Services Essentials. What is GRS Essentials? How do you know if it's the right fit for your practice? We'll discuss the dynamic between our GRS Essentials and your practice, and we'll hear how that dynamic has helped improve efficiencies at one practice and some advice for your practice if you are seeking a revenue cycle management team. This is Putting Possibility into Practice, and it starts right now. I'm Joe Agostinelli, Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, and welcome to this episode of our podcast, Putting Possibility into Practice. Every practice wants to be profitable and make sure they have the right billing processes and expertise in place. And we here at Greenway Health want to make that easy for your practice to find. So with that in mind, and not writing a poem, but it just came out that way, I am joined by both Pamela Bowman, a Greenway Revenue Services Essentials Consultant, and Kinjal Chawa of Port Orange Internist to discuss all this and more. And uh, first, we'll start with Pamela. Pamela, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your, your busy day to join me on our podcast. Thanks for having me, Joe. When we talk about Greenway Revenue uh, Services Essentials, what exactly does that mean? So the essential service, um, we are a collaborative partnership um, where we actually become an extension of our customer's billing department. Our responsibilities include claim submission where we print paper claims, um, we mail them with any necessary documents um, such as medical records, primary EOBs, we do the electronic billing, and we also reconcile with the clearinghouse to make sure that those claims actually were received and then were sent to the payers. You know, technology, sometimes there's a little bit of a glitch, so we want to make sure that all of those actually go out each day. Then we also come in and we post payments. So whether those are the paper checks that come into the the practice from the mail and are taken to the bank, we also post the electronic payments coming into the clearinghouse and some of those payment portals. And with that payment posting, one of the most important things that we do is when we receive those denials that are on the explanation of benefits, we attach that to the claim. So it makes it easier for the car's billing team to come in and work those claims. They can go through and find all of the ones denied for diagnosis and, and get those worked. And it, it does help to get that um, organization really helps with time management because you can just... Um, go by payer, you can go by denial reason um, to really knock those out as quickly as possible. But one of the best parts of Essentials um, is the the personal consultative reporting. So we do the standard end of month reports, but we also do a complete review um, once a month where we do a deep dive into our customers' AR. We give best practices. We want to make sure that our customers have a healthy AR, and sometimes it's just hard for a practice to figure out where to go. So we look at rejection trends, denial trends. We look at anything that's going to keep those claims from getting paid quickly the first time. If a claim gets paid the first time, your billing department doesn't have to work it, which saves time, right? Um, And then our review also has historical data. So we go through the important revenue cycle elements such as charges, payments, adjustments, visit counts, and it's really important to review all of those so that our customers can help project future revenue income. If there's um, highs and lows, we want to make sure that they're prepared for those lows. When they have the highs, they can, you know, squirrel some of that away and know when those lows are coming. And you talked about this is uh, monthly reporting, correct, you mentioned? Yep, we do the monthly consultative review, which is that that deep dive. So when you talk about the highs and the lows and and, – You know, something that struck me is how long does it take once somebody is on the system? Is there a set time where you want to get a certain amount of of, of data month-wise or time-wise before you can see a pattern for, you know, a practice who wants to budget going forward? Generally three months, so about a quarter. It doesn't necessarily have to be a true January to March and April, you know, um, but generally three months is an average that we can go by for the current month. So we know, okay, the past three months, your revenue has been X. This month, it was actually Y. You're doing great compared to the past three months. So I think three months is a good average. 
And do you see common situations in practices where a practice chooses to partner with uh, your team rather than utilizing a full-service revenue cycle team? Yeah, a lot of times our customers, they have a complete billing department, um, but they may not be receiving the, the steady revenue stream that they think they should have. And sometimes this is just because their billing department um, could be spinning their wheels, doing the same thing over and over, just thinking that that's part of, of their billing job. You know, there could be a rejection that they keep getting and they um, they keep correcting the same thing over and over, not knowing that they might be able to put an edit into their software to prevent that error from being posted at charge posting, or they don't know that the eligibility will show, um, such as on a Medicare, that the patient has a Medicare capitation plan. So sometimes it's just the knowledge of understanding the system and what the system can do for them um, to help them from doing those same things over and over again. Um, sometimes it's um, because the staff doesn't understand, um, like, current um, industry standards. You know, a Blue Cross Blue Shield policy may have changed one month, and it wasn't known. Um, this does happen a lot with Medicaid plans, where Medicaid will change um, um diagnosis codes that need to be on a well visit or this modifier now has to be attached to this type of a visit. So sometimes it's just understanding the industry itself. Um, and with Greenway, we have a huge revenue services team, not just with essentials, but full service. So we have all of that experience for um, state payers, for specialties. So that's something that we can really help practices with is just understanding what is going on right now. Sometimes when you have a smaller billing staff, they may not have time to do that. They may not, um, you know, have the resources to to go to, um, you know, the industry um, conventions and things like that. So that's a lot of what we see is practices have a, a billing department. They just aren't utilizing it to the best of their ability. As I mentioned earlier, Kinjal Chawala, a Port Orange internist, is also here today. And first, Kinjal, uh, thank you for joining me and taking time out of your day to appear on our podcast. And a little background on your practice. Thank you, Joe. Um, so our practice is located about 10 minutes from Daytona Beach. It's, it's an internal medicine practice. And right now we have we have one provider that sees about 25 patients a day, and we have been very well established in this community. Um, he's, he's been here for over 30 years, and so we do also a lot of other outpatient services. So um, this is really well known in the community. And Pamela was discussing what situations she has seen where practices decide to partner with her GRS Essentials team. What was it to lead... Uh, what was it that led you to seek and partner with our, our GRS Essentials team? So we also recently converted to EMR, and with this um, new conversion, we also decided to also add another change and partner with the GRS Essentials team. Um, I myself, being an office manager and a biller, I knew I needed everything that GRS was providing and that included from posting payments to helping with claims, um, even monitoring our days in AR. So I knew with that extra help, it would make me a more effective biller. And how would you say the partnership has affected the day-to-day -day operations of, of your billing team? Well, I think the partnership has very significantly affected my daily operations. Um, so GRS, the Essentials team, they have actually allowed more time for me to do quality work. And by that, I mean that um, the time I have saved from, let's say, mailing claims or posting payments can now actually be spent on other things like correcting claims and decreasing our AR. So, yeah, I think the partnership has made me work more efficiently. 
with practices having a billing department, how do you build your relationships with the practices once they decide to utilize your team services? One of the most important things is to have a relationship with the the management and with the billing team. We don't want anybody to think that we're coming in and um, you know we're trying to take over their jobs. We're there to be their partners. We actually become a part of that billing team. Um, you know some things that are industry standard may not be the same thing for one practice. Um, you know we've seen practices that have to add a modifier on a certain code that really isn't um, CPT guidelines, but it's the only way that payer will pay that code. So when we have those instances, I'm giving feedback and my practice is also giving me feedback. So it really is a lot of give and take, a lot of brainstorming. Um, we can always come up with best practices for what's standard, but every practice is different and um, we want to make sure that the things that we do are helping both of us. And with every practice being different, I mean obviously there are individual needs of a practice. Each practice is going to have different goals um, prior to the partnership. How does the GRS Essentials team help a practice, you know, look at, define, work towards goals that they set once the relationship starts? Um, and most of our customers do have goals. We we first go through to see what's going on, um, how the, the practice does their charge posting, um, where their highest payers are. So we kind of get that baseline, and then we go and say, okay, so what are the goals that you want to attain? Um, you know, such as having a, a specific monthly revenue. I want $300,000 a month. Okay, so we look at charges. Are your charges even going to allow you to have $300,000 a month? If they do, where can we maximize that revenue? Well, we can maximize the revenue by using um, these three key performance enders that um, Greenway uses to assess financial health. So we go by clean claims, um, days in AR, and zero to 60% aging. So once those three goals are met, the practice will see a quicker turnaround of payments as well as an increase because they're not having to adjust off for a bunch of timely filing. Um, they'll be able to see, um, you know, okay, so we can't use these codes with this um, other code per payer guidelines. So once we help the practice understand those key performance indicators and then work together to get the the revenue work the revenue cycle workflow with that practice, those three things happen and they meet their goals. And uh, I talked to Pamela about the uh, uh relationship that the practice has. How have you built your relationship with the GRS Essentials team? Well, I believe I have built a very good relationship with my uh, GRS Essentials team, and I actually feel very lucky to be working with Pam and her team who are willing to go above and beyond just to make sure that we reach our goals, um, their knowledge, their determination. I, I think it's very ad admirable. Um, so, And I think we have learned a lot from each other but I do believe that they have taught me a lot more, just like about billing on things I was unfamiliar with. So they actually know what they're doing. <laughs> and hmm. so I think, um, and aside from that, I think it's the communication. Like I think, you know, with any sort of relationship, we have to have that communication. So, and and you can see that for us in our results, it has allowed us to be more effective in what we do. Um, so, yes, I think we have a very good relationship. And heading into, um, you know, talking to the essentials team and, and agreeing to partner uh, with Greenway, did you have goals, you know, that the practice had set out on and, and have you been able to meet those goals? Well, yes, we did have um, several goals before we decided to go and join the partnership. And just some examples, um, some of our goals, it included so decreasing our days in account receivables. It included uh, increasing the number of clean claims. 
and also increasing our monthly revenue. So before the partnership, the number of days in AR was very high. And like a few months after, that number decreased drastically. So, and we also did increase the number of clean claims because, you know, I was not only reviewing them, but like I also had another team to help me and let me know if there was something wrong. And so that eventually led to greater monthly revenue. So it did help me meet my goals. Is there an ideal time frame to start achieving some of the goals with the KPIs that you mentioned? The first thing is clean claims. So we look at your clearinghouse rejections. That's going to be a direct correlation to um, your, your clean claims, um, whether it's um, a lot of clearing houses will tell you this patient wasn't eligible. The payer isn't going to even accept this claim. Um, you know, so so those are the things that we look at first to make sure that we get those clean claims out. You get a clearinghouse rejection, that's time that your team has to go in and say, okay, why was this rejected? Oh, it was eligibility. Okay, now I need to go into the patient's chart. I need to verify the eligibility. Um, was it something that maybe the front desk didn't set the new insurance to active? Was there um, a digit that was off? So once we get those rejections to decrease, we start to see that, okay, claims are actually going to be going out quickly. Then we go through those denials. Okay, on um, this, um, let's say, um, C-section delivery. Okay, so now Medicaid is saying that not only do you have to have your standard delivery codes, you also have to have a specific reason why a C-section was done or it's going to be elective. So once we start looking at some of those little things, we're going to be able to get that claim corrected. We know the, this code has to be on there. These codes have to be on there. So from now on, these C-section codes are going to go out and they're going to get paid the first time. That is one of the most important things towards getting your billing department to not have to take so much time working claims and to get those days in AR down so you see that revenue quicker. And for practices who may be considering a partnership with GRS Essentials, um, what advice would you give them? Well, I would advise them to join the partnership. I think that having a team to help with billing actually pushes the biller even more to do their best because I think that's exactly what they did for me. And um, just like my weekly calls with Pam that I have set up, um, like Pam and her team, they have been very helpful. Like they'll give me perspective on something I'm doing wrong, you know. So um, I think uh, the Essentials uh, team is, I think it's a very good business decision because it will not only give you quality time, which I'm very grateful for, but it will also allow you to reach your goals faster than when if you were just tackling them on your own. So I think it would be a very wise business decision. Well, Kangela, I thank you for uh, your time and the information, and uh, it, it's great to hear that you guys uh, have been meeting your goals and, and are enjoying this relationship. And, and I uh, thank you on behalf of uh, the team here at Greenway for your partnership mm -hmm. uh, with, with, right. with our team. We look forward to contributing to your guys' overall success here in the future. All right. Thank you. And I want to thank Pamela Bowman of Greenway Revenue Services Essentials Consultant and Kendall Chihuahua of Port Orange Internist, my guest on this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice. For more information on Greenway Revenue Services and all the resources they have that your practice can utilize in a partnership with Greenway Health, I invite you to visit our website at www.greenwayhealth.com. Com. We thank you for listening to this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice. You can find our podcast on all of the major podcast platforms, and we invite you to subscribe to our podcast on your platform of choice. You can also find all our past episodes on our website at www.greenwayhealth.com in the Knowledge Center in the podcast section. I'm Joe Agostinelli, Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, and thank you for listening to this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice, the podcast from Greenway Health.